Hey there, this is Christian Espinoza with Alpine Security. One of the questions we're asked quite often is what is the difference between a vulnerability assessment that is authenticated and a vulnerability assessment that is non-authenticated or unauthenticated? With an authenticated vulnerability assessment, the tool that's used to assess the vulnerabilities, this is often Nessus or OpenVAST or something like that, the tool has to have credentials to the system it is connecting to. Often this is Active Directory domain admin credentials or database credentials or credentials to a web application or root credentials to a Linux box. The idea is with the authenticated or credentialed scan, the vulnerability assessment tool logs on to each application, each operating system, and enumerates all the installed packages or applications on that system. This allows it to not only look at the vulnerabilities from the network perspective, but also from the operating system and the overall system perspective. With a non-credentialed or non-authenticated or unauthenticated scan, there are no credentials involved. So the unauthenticated scan can only determine vulnerabilities across the network based on open ports on the target system. So an unauthenticated is not very accurate. It can certainly give you an indication of what vulnerabilities there are, but in contrast to a authenticated vulnerability assessment, the unauthenticated is like ridiculously inaccurate. The authenticated can not only tell you the vulnerabilities of the operating system itself, but can also, since it can log on to the target and authenticate with the target, it can tell you the vulnerabilities of any applications or programs installed on that target. Uh, this is much more effective because often a vulnerability may not exist with the operating system, but it may exist with something installed on the operating system. And that is often the way an attacker may get into your environment. The authenticated scan can also reduce false positives because in contrast to the non-authenticated scan, the authenticated scan can actually test uh, DLL versions of the operating system where the unauthenticated can do a best guess across the network. So whenever possible, it's recommended if you are doing vulnerability assessments, you run an authenticated vulnerability assessment. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them beneath this video. Thanks for your time. I hope you found this video useful.